Hey guys, I'm back, just like I said it'd be. Uh, so I had to play with the light a little bit, because with any sort of uh, dining room or kitchen light, you couldn't see a thing, it was just a light blob, and now it's kind of still blob-worthy, but you can still tell where things are. So this whole thing is covered in paper pa mache strips, uh, sorry, plaster strips, like this. And I think you can tell the shiny bit is, uh, is tin foil, and it's between the two halves. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look in the last video. So I'm going to go ahead and take the the plaster off of this mold. I'm going to do that by taking out the tin foil. should be really easy to take out. Um, and I'm just going to make sure it's all separated. And everyone does this differently, so if you find a different way that works better for you, please do it and then share and see and, you know, tell us that it works better. So, yeah, it, it should just pop right off. You can see the silicone. Um, and I'm doing it kind of carefully, because uh, it's, you know, I like it. So there's one half, and uh, yeah, and here's the other, I just got to kind of maneuver it off, and there we go. So, now I'm actually, I don't know if other people do this, but I'm going to put it back on here. Like I said, it should fit, or it should come off pretty easily, and it'll fit back on. And since it's already been separated from the um, from the silicone, I'm gonna put connector pieces of plaster strips like this um, loosely on here. And that's really more for me than for the finished product. It's I'll explain why I do this in a bit. Oh, there's tin foil in the water. Okay. Um, and yeah, the tin foil is gone. It's been separated, and I'm just doing this. I'm just, uh, I don't know. It's kind of still bleached out, but I'm putting little strips along where the two pieces come together. And for this, I am wearing clothes that I don't mind getting stuff on. I recommend doing that for the whole process. Um, you don't have to use gloves with this unless, I don't know if it's possible, if you're allergic to plaster. I really don't know if anyone's allergic to it. But obviously if it bothers you, or if uh, touching dry silicone bothers you, wear gloves. I'm sorry my voice is a little raspy. I got surgery, so I'm a little not all here. But I want to do this now, so ignore the fact that I have fever. cook it on there. It's not. It's just more plaster on one side. My actual sculpt is not cooked. I hope. Hmm. And I'm doing so many layers because I get hobby plaster and not medical plaster. Medical plaster is a lot stronger and it takes a lot fewer layers and, and less plaster overall. But I've been too lazy to order any online so far. Or, you know, go to a hospital and acquire it. And this should dry pretty quickly. I'm going to have to make two different videos for this. So, I can talk about other important stuff. Um, Make sure your silicone is fully set before you do this. Uh, uh, make sure you have everything covered. I have uh, some piece of paper down on the table, but it's a wooden table, so things come off pretty easily. Uh, things I make things I need um, silicone and uh, and plaster. I think you can see that plaster just rubs right off. 
resin though um resin sticks to everything and it's it's permanent it's plastic you can sometimes peel off thin strips and stuff but i had to sand my table to get rid of it last time uh and that wasn't very fun and uh i'll probably repeat all of this in my resin bit but uh i got a chemical burn because i got resin unset resin on me and it was it was all up my arm and it was it was really itchy and really uncomfortable. So make sure you wear good long gloves. I have some now. Um, and wear long pants when you're you're doing resin and uh, when you're doing silicone. Wear long pants that you don't mind getting anything on. And uh, also when you're doing resin, just because you have the protection of long pants doesn't mean it's okay if you get it on them because it, it will see through your skin and I've had more burns that way and it's just really uncomfortable um, oh yeah make sure you have your, your floor covered with a plastic tarp or something like that that you don't mind getting everything on I got some in the carpet and that was no good let's see this isn't this isn't too bad. I'll go ahead. I, I would wait longer, but I don't want you guys to be too terribly bored by this increasingly boring video. So I'm really careful here to uh, not F things up. Don't want to fancy things up. And uh, I'm using my own video to see what I'm doing on this side. It's kind of tough because I didn't want to set all the way. So the uh, plaster, not the not the silicone. And there we go. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, there we go. Okay. So over here, yeah, the plaster kind of came off, but it set all the way. Don't have an audience. Not that you guys aren't lovely. You're lovely. I love you. Okay, so now comes peeling the silicone off the mold. I don't know if it's a very good view. I will move it to the side. That looks a little better, right? You can actually tell kind of what's going on. Okay, so for this, I'm going to go ahead and rub off all the plaster around the edges. And again, unless your your skin is 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 bothered by... I am wearing a shirt. It's yellow. I'm not, it looks like I'm kind of shirtless. Uh, unless your skin is bothered by set silicone, you don't have to wear gloves. And I'm just very carefully going around and lifting up all the edges. And if you did have a, a dam of clay, you know, you could take it off uh, after you're done pouring the silicone. Really. I didn't use one for this. Yes, I didn't. Um, yeah, I'm just being very careful. It is kind of easy for the stuff to rip if it's thin. And there's some extra here, so I'm just going to throw it on. Um, so, alright, now that I'm actually to where it's meeting the clay, I'm being really careful. And I'm, I'm peeling off little bits at a time until I get a good uh, amount of it off. Uh, on these Mr. Face, it's a little difficult because, you know, they're pretty realistic and they have eyes. And this gets in between the eye and the nose, and it kind of sinks in. So I'm going to go ahead and peel it off. And this is always kind of nerve-wracking to me because I've had molds rip. Mostly if I haven't done enough layers of silicone. So it's better to, to do enough layers while you're doing it than to have to redo it and waste silicone. And just really careful. And there we go. And as you see, the original mold is unharmed. I could do it again and again if I wanted to. I hopefully will not have to. Here's the inverted nose. It's kind of fun. So now that this is separated, I will actually put it back on there. This is what I do. Like I said, a lot of people actually... With this one, it's a little different. What I do usually is I put it back on there and then I put the... Uh, okay, flipping it right side out right now. And that's always nerve-wracking too because I've had them rip when I'm flipping them right side out. And that's annoying because I've gone through all that shit. Here's my sailor's mall. So I'm just going to do this on here. 
So usually, yeah, I'd put the silicone on there. Which we anyway. But since this mold is pretty different than my usual ones, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, I don't need these anymore because they're dry. See how fast they dry? So you guys get to see me cutting some more. And this is the plaster, the, the plaster roll. And these are just some little scissors. And I'm just going to cut little strips. I say just a lot. I apologize. It's not even the proper way to use it, as my English teacher always said. Um, but I'm cutting... Oh, got some water on the keyboard. Or on my mouse. Oh, it's plaster. Um, okay, there we go. Um, you really should cover your keyboard if, if your computer's nearby. You should cover it with plastic or with cloth. Most, most likely plastic is better. Um, so you don't, you know, screw it up. I do well with my computer. I just forget. Alright, I think that's enough. It's really easy to, to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do what you guys saw me do before. And, uh... Ooh, that's not so so fun. So now you have your silicone thing, and then soon you'll have this, and I'll catch you guys in another video because I don't want you to hang around while it's dry drying. Alright, I love you. All of you. I love you.